Hi guys, really excited today. I've just got my delivery for Marvel Champions, the X-Men stuff, uh, Mutant Genesis, uh, Cyclops and Phoenix. Uh, I'm going to open these up and do hero overviews for the heroes and see what else is inside and have a little look inside the boxes. Really excited for this, I've wanted X-Men in Marvel Champions for ages, uh, with this being my favourite game of all time and X-Men also being something I really enjoy. Uh, I'm really excited also to get uh, Wolverine next month and Storm. Both look really interesting. Um, I'm hoping to get Gambit in there as well, hopefully, and maybe Beast. And a couple of others I'd like to see, um, but I'm not sure if they're going to turn up. So fingers crossed they do get them into the game. But for now, really excited for this one. Can't wait to open it up. Can't wait to get it sleeved and played. Um, let me know if you've got it, if you like it. And if you like this type of video, please leave a like in the um like section and comment if you want to ask any questions and of course if you can subscribe to the channel please we're really trying to push the numbers up a bit at the minute so hopefully it will start increasing soon and get us over 200 which is very very close um thanks guys for watching the video let's get these opened and see what's inside so i'm really excited to open phoenix she looks awesome um in the comics and the films and everything she's really powerful um, I'm not sure how they're going to translate that into here, but look forward to seeing what kind of things she brings to the table. Hopefully a lot of damage and attack, and maybe a little bit of craziness. Um, I haven't looked at what she's got on the website because I didn't want to spoil it for myself before it came out. Um, but I think she's a really great character overall in the actual comics and the um, X-Men in general. Again, similar to the uh, one for our other, one of my other favourite characters is Cyclops. He's got the same kind of symbols and the only new one I think for this set is Villainous. And then it tells you about Phoenix. It says Phoenix begins the game with the Phoenix Force upgrade in play. On its restrained side, use this Phoenix's psionic bond ability to spend power counters from Phoenix Force. They'll pay for the powerful cards. It like mind powerful cards like mind control, but be careful when you spend the last power count on Phoenix Force. It flips to its unleashed side. While this will make events like telekinetic attack hit harder, it may also cause your burning hunger obligation to bring Dark Phoenix into play. With the justice aspect, call upon Banshee to help thwart the villain schemes. Attach mission training to help him boost his thwart and hit points. Play mutant peacekeepers and exhaust your characters to remove threat from the from among schemes equal to their combined thwart. So she sounds like she's got a really cool mechanic, this um, sonic bond and then potential to have it flip into the unleashed side and cause danger if you're not careful. Well, that sounds awesome. I think she's most probably going to be the one I play first out of the four heroes because I like the sound of this madness and chaos and things going on. And it sounds like a really interesting way to play. Phoenix has got a hand size of 5 and she's got uh, 9 hit points as you can see here. Um, the lighting's going really way over here. But it says here she's got 5 hit points, 9 hand size. The Tyanic Bond it says remove one power counter from Phoenix Force and generate a wild resource. Limit to once per phase and then in Jean Grey size she's got Put your Phoenix Force upgrade into play, restrain side face up, place four power counters on it. After, and response, after you make a basic recovery, place one power counter on Phoenix Force. When you lose health, you can flip her to this, recover and give her an extra power counter, which is a nice bonus. So you're most likely going to be flipping backwards and forwards quite a bit, especially if you're in a, one of the harder battles. Uh, this gives you, again, your unleash trait on the unleash side. Phoenix gets minus two thwart, but plus two attack. So Phoenix has got three thwart normally. So your thwart is going to go down to one, but your attack is going to go up to three. But normally you'll have the other way around. So that's quite cool. Um, after a power counter is placed here, if there are four or more power counters here, you have to flip it over. So that then goes back to its restrained side. Uh, on this it says, after the last power counter is removed from here, you flip the card. So her cards are... Cyclops is an ally, of course, so he's got three health and he only takes one consequential damage from each thwart or attack of two each. 
After he enters play, you can force place two power counters onto Phoenix Force. Interrupt when Cyclops leaves play, remove two power counters from Phoenix Force. So it's kind of a temporary boost for two. So that could be good or bad. Support White Hot Room. Um, place one power counter on Phoenix Force. Or heal two damage from Jean Grey. So that's a really good support. You want that out most probably as early as you can. Um, you've got Phoenix Suit. Gains the aerial trait. While you have the restrain trait, you gain steady. While you have the unleash trait, you gain retaliate plus one. So excellent damage and potential with the retaliate. Rise from the ashes gives you when you would be defeated, remove this card from the game. Ready your identity and restore it to its printed hit point value instead. Remove each power counter from Phoenix Force. So you, if you can get that upgrade out at the start, if you're about to die, you'd be brought back to life. But maybe back to life in your unleashed form and with the negatives and positives that come with that. You've got Telekinetic Shield attached to a friendly character. When attached character would take damage from an enemy attack, place the damage here instead. Then there is, if there's at least five damage here, discard the Telekinetic Shield. So nice you get to use some telekinesis and the powers. Uh, Mental Paralysis, she says, Hero form only, attached to a non-elite enemy uh, minion. Attached minions cannot activate. After you flip to alter ego form, discard this card. So if you're in hero form for a while, that could be really useful. You've got mind control, four cost, attached to a non-elite minion. Take control of the attached minion and treat it as a controlled ally with a blank text box. Its thwart is equal to its printed scheme and it takes one consequential damage after it thwarts or attacks. So that could be really good for some of the bigger minions that do a lot of damage. Um, telekinetic attack, you've got two of these. Deals seven damage to a hero. If you have the unleashed trait, this attack deals two additional damage and gains overkill. So you do nine damage and overkill, which is really strong. Uh, Psychic blast, deal four damage to the villain. If you have the unleashed trait, deal four damage to each minion engaged with you. So you could wipe out a whole floor of minions and do serious damage to the bad guy. Two of those. Two telepathic trickery. Remove four threat from a scheme. If you have unleashed trait, stun and confuse an enemy. You've got the Phoenix Firebird. You get two of these. It says choose either remove one power counter from Phoenix Force and ready Phoenix or place two power counters on the Phoenix Force. So that could help you become less uh, out of your unleashed if you need to or help you get into it if you want to. After Banshee Thwart uh, for this ally, for your new Justice deck for this, you got uh, Confuse a Minion. He does two Thwart to attack for one consequential damage each, which isn't bad. Marvel Girl has got two Thwart and one attack. It says when Marvel Girl attacks a minion, remove X threat from the main scheme, where X is that minion's printed scheme. So she's got three health and she doesn't take any damage when she thwarts. So she's going to be a brilliant ally for reducing uh, schemes and threats and things outside of attacking mainly I'd say you've got three mission training uh, upgrades attach an X-Men ally one, maximum once one training upgrade per ally so the attached ally will get one thwart extra and two hit points extra uh, psychic manipulation you've got three of these you can only play if you've got the psionic trait so as phoenix and the thwart is an, as an interrupt when the villain schemes this activation removes threat instead of placing it so you get to uh, block out a thwart uh, scheme and take it off a scheme instead especially useful maybe if you're nearly overloaded you've got two, three of these mutant peacekeepers it's quite a funny looking card quite cool um, it's got play only if you're if you're an x-men and it's a thwart action exhaust your hero and any number of x-men allies Remove X threat from the among the schemes in play, where X is the total thwart of those characters. So you can do that to all characters if you want. Picture of Gambit there, really nice picture. Hopefully he'll be in the game properly soon. Um, attack, it says the villain schemes deal for damage to the villain. So you get taken scheme, but you're doing damage. You've got the wild resources, passion for justice. When you spend this card to play a thwart event, that event removes one additional threat. You have a nice ally of Storm here, who's coming out soon in her own pack. Reduce the cost to play Storm by one if your identity has mutant or X-Men trait. And interrupt when Storm thwarts a scheme, move two threat from that scheme to another scheme. So you take two off and you move two, which is quite nice. Got a Cerebro support. 
play any of you have the mutant trait. And it says exhaust cerebro, search the top five cards of your deck for an X-Men ally. Search your whole deck instead if you control a psionic character. So Phoenix is a psionic character. And she's got psionic on both sides, but she's only mutant on the Jean Grey side. So you'd have to be on the Jean Grey side to do this. Um, then you've got... Uh, oh, and then you add that ally to your hand as well, which is great. Uh, Psychic Rapport. It says team up with uh, Cyclops and Phoenix. Same as the one in the Cyclops one. You ready Cyclops and Phoenix. Choose to either return a Cyclops card from the discard pile to your hand or place two power counters on Phoenix Force. So when they both played their attacks or defenses or thwart or whatever, you can unexhaust them both and then do some stuff, which is cool. Um, you've got downtime, three of these upgrades. It says play on indie player's control, one per player. You can go to anyone and it gives your alter ego plus two recovery. So these are, might be nice for if you're getting a lot of damage. Then you've got your double energy, double science, double aggression cards. Her obligation says if you have the unleashed trait, search the encounter deck. Discard pile and set aside area for Dark Phoenix and reveal her. Then remove Burning Hunger from the game. If you have the Restrained trait, remove a power counter from Phoenix Force. And this card gains Surge, so discard this card. So she's got quite a lot of nasty stuff there. That's not very nice at all. If you're in Unleashed form, you're going to get uh, Dark Phoenix. And if you're not, then you're going to end up taking a power counter off and you still have to then gain surge on it and get rid of this card so you you get in nasty stuff all the way through but she is quite powerful it seems dark phoenix has got 12 health two scheme but when you scheme she places the threat on consume the world if able um she's got two scheme to attack and it says she's got steady toughness and villainous and when revealed you search the encounter deck discard pile and set aside area for consume the world and you reveal it so Consume the World is her scheme. It's only got up to six threat on it to get rid of it, but it's permanent. While there's no threat here, this scheme loses the um, the boost icon thing. This adds extra um, extra threat. I can't remember what it is. Adds extra stuff, extra nasty stuff. But after the threat is placed here, if there is at least 12 threat here, the players lose the game. So you don't really want threat there. It's not really good. Um, then you've got, she's got Fiery Rage, Peril, while you are resolving this card, other players going to help you. If Dark Phoenix is in play, she activates against you. If Dark Phoenix is not in play, place a threat on the Consume the World, and this card gains Surge. You get three of those. And that's the end of her deck. So Phoenix seems very powerful, but also got some negatives to her, which could be quite nasty if you don't play her well. The remaining aren't part of the deck. You've got three Psychic Assaults for Aggression deck. Only if you've got Psionic Trait, you can deal 3 damage to an enemy as an attack and confuse the enemy. You've got Psychic Misdirection, 3 of those for your protection. You can only be Psionic again. Uh, when an enemy attacks you, choose a different enemy. Attack that from that... Damage from that attack, sorry, is dealt to the chosen enemy instead of you. Nice. Uh, psychic Kicker. Play if only your identity has the Psionic Trait again. You get to, in hero action, ready an ally. That ally gets plus 2 thwart and plus 2 attack for its next basic thwart or attack. In this phase, and then Soul Sisters, you've got oh, there's only two of those, I think. One, two. You get to team up Phoenix and Storm, max uh, one per deck. Ready Phoenix and Storm, and then heal two damage from each of them. So we know that Storms come in soon. So these are both going to be quite tough to play characters, I think. It looks like Storms going to have weather effects and something like that. I haven't fully looked into it, but really interesting. They've put some cards in there ready for that. Um, she should hopefully be with me soon. I really think this is a really cool set and I think she's going to be really fun to play but also quite difficult and challenging at the same time so tune in if you want to see that I'm going to do some gameplay soon thanks for watching the video if you like this video please subscribe to the channel it really helps and press the bell icon so you can see when the next videos are coming see you on the next video